Hello, and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. We're excited to see our students return to us in a few more weeks after a very long spring break. This school year will be different from our previous school years, and to help you prepare your students for this, we have created this video. In order to facilitate operations and mitigate exposure during this time, we've implemented several new procedures for you and for your students that you will need to be aware of. Additionally, we need everyone's cooperation and help in making these procedures effective in providing in-person learning. We are all well, well aware of the challenges facing us, and it will take everyone working together to incur, ensure a safe return to school for our students. Okay, the first area that we are going to need help with is self-screening. It is very important for parents to screen their student every morning before they come to school. They need to take their temperature before coming in, and if the students are ill, they need to keep them at home. The other area that we're going to need help with is face coverings. Face coverings will be required at all times when students are riding on buses, entering and dismissing from the school buildings, walking or waiting in the hallways, utilizing the restrooms, standing in line for the cafeteria, when social distancing is not possible in the classroom. Face coverings must be worn properly covering both the nose and the mouth. By now, most students likely have a face covering they're familiar with, but the district will be providing face shields for pre-K through sixth grade to be kept at school and utilized in the classrooms. Face masks will also be made available to students who do not have their own. They will go through, when they enter the building, they will go through temperature checks conducted at the entrances. They will also use hand, touchless hand sanitizer stations to be utilized. And for students with allergies, they will need to provide their own hand sanitizer and notify administration of this allergy. Breakfast will be served on a grab and go basis and students will be socially distanced in waiting areas that will be provided for them. When students are walking in the hallways, there are several things they need to remind, or be reminded of. Students will need to walk on each side of the hallway, not in the middle, even at the junior high where the flow is a one-way traffic flow. Directional areas have been placed on the floors to show the traffic flow at each campus. Signage has also been placed on floors to remind students to stay socially distanced. Students need to keep their hands to themselves and not congregate while in the hallways or in the common areas. Restrooms. Students will access restrooms on a limited number at a time, and they will be socially distanced at all times while in line. Washing hands. Signage has been placed in the buildings to encourage students to wash their hands thoroughly and frequently. They also are encouraged to utilize touchless hand sanitizer stations frequently. They should also avoid touching their faces at all times. And if they do, they need to wash their hands or sanitize them. Water bottles. Water fountains will be shut off this school year. We have provided refillable stations at certain fountains throughout the buildings. Students will need to bring their own non-breakable and refillable bottle with their name on it. Cafeterias. Floor markings have been utilized to help students socially distance while standing in line. Staggered seating will also be utilized this school year to provide for social distancing during lunches. We've also created more lunches to accommodate this social distancing. Students will be encouraged to help clean their own area when they have finished eating their lunch and touchless hand sanitizing stations will be provided throughout for before and after they're eating their meal. Recess and playgrounds. Students will be allowed recess outside. Hand sanitizing stations will be utilized before and after. And playground equipment will be utilized on a rotating basis by a limited number of students. Other activities will be utilized to accommodate social distancing in other areas. Masks may or may not be worn by preference while outside and socially distanced. Visitors, volunteers, meal drop-off. These will not be permitted this year. All visitors need to schedule an appointment with the campus office staff, and these visits need to be academically relevant. No outside food deliveries will be accepted. In order to pick up students early, please contact the office ahead of time, and the student will be brought out to you. Dismissal will be on a staggered basis. Students will need to exit school property promptly and will not be allowed to congregate after school. Students will only be allowed to re-enter under special circumstances that are pre-arranged. We hope this video helps you and your students in knowing what to expect when they return to school. We have put our commitment forms out for you to decide on in-person learning or virtual learning for your students. 
These commitment forms are due by, back by August 31st. Once again, we want to welcome you back, all back to KISD this school year, and we look forward to seeing your students in person on September 24th. And remember, as always, the future is bright in Kennedale ISD. Thank you.